Why are there 25 buttons on F1 steering wheel? The modern Formula One car is among the most amazing machines ever made. And when you're going wheel to wheel with someone like four time world champion Sebastian Vettel at 180 miles an hour, you can't take your hand off the wheel to do, well, anything. Every task a driver might need to do, every bit of information he might need to know, is quite literally at his fingertips. The modern Formula One steering wheel is, therefore, the most amazing thing ever made. It is in every way the nerve center of the car, with 25 different buttons. But what is the need for so many buttons? Well, let's find out. With the adoption of the turbo hybrid engine formula in 2014, F1 steering wheels underwent a drastic change. In order to keep up with the hundreds of sensors on the car from tyre and brake temperature to oil pressure in the engine, teams were allowed to fit a small LED screen for the first time. All the teams adopted this, with the exception of Williams. They decided to mount the screen to the chassis bulkhead, keeping it in one fixed position as the driver moves the wheel. Even in 2022, Williams are the only team still not to adopt the LED screen and steering wheel into one unit. Everything a driver does in the car, with the exception of applying the throttle and brake, is done through the steering wheel, including talking to the engineer or opening the DRS to attack the driver in front. While each team slightly differs in layout and functionality of buttons on their F1 steering wheels, the rough idea stays the same. In 2019, the Mercedes steering wheel had a total of 25 buttons and switches with which to control the car. The team's design has largely stayed the same from that year. Each driver has the steering wheel specially moulded to their hands, and to ensure maximum comfort, are involved in the layout to ensure it is suited to them. In 2013, when Lewis Hamilton headed to Mercedes from McLaren, he helped redesign the wheel to better suit him. Previously, Mercedes had used a rather cluttered, bulky steering wheel for Nico Rosberg and Michael Schumacher. After Schumacher had retired, Hamilton halved the size of the wheel and decluttered it, while Rosberg continued with the original design for the 2013 before the 2014 complete redesign. Buttons on the F1 steering wheel include the DRS activation, pit lane speed limiter, radio, drink, and a mark button which allows them to pinpoint something in the data to go over with the engineers in the debrief. Elsewhere, a variety of dials and rotors offer the driver a magnitude of menus and submenus for changing settings on every part of the car. This includes shifting the brake bias forwards or backwards, engine, tyre, grip or weather settings, as well as the display telling them parameters like lap time, displaying flags and revs. The clutch is operated by paddles on the back of the steering wheel, which the driver pulls in to find the bite point before dumping it at the start. Five out of the 25 buttons and switches change the brake settings of the car. The driver can shift the brake balance from the front to the rear or vice versa. To optimize the brake balance for an individual corner, change the amount of engine braking, or adjust the braking migration, which is a dynamic change of the brake balance depending on how hard the driver brakes. Another three switches control the differential, the amount of torque transfer between the rear wheels, for the entry, the apex, and the exit of a corner. The rest of the buttons and switches have a variety of different purposes, from adjusting the settings of the power unit, to changing the data that is displayed on the screen, activating the radio, or the pit lane speed limiter. The importance of the buttons depends on the situation. If, for example, a driver can't hear his race engineer anymore, the volume control of the radio suddenly becomes very important. If you were to ask a driver which button he thinks is the most important, he'd probably choose the Strat switch, as it has a big impact on the performance of the car. The most used functions of the steering wheel are by far the actual steering itself, as well as gear changes. On a typical lap in Melbourne, for example, the driver will use the shift paddle around 50 times. 15 shift indicator LEDs located above the central display help him to find the ideal shift point. In addition to steering and shifting, an F1 driver will make a number of adjustments to the brake balance, fine-tuning the car to different corner characteristics. F1 steering wheels utilize incredibly complex, cutting-edge technology. They allow a driver to adjust the settings of various systems on the car as they like it in real time. F1 steering wheels have much smaller rotation angles than those in road cars and can feature 20 plus buttons and switches. What do you think of this 25 button steering wheel? Let us know your opinion in the comments. And while you're down there, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you in the next video.